Look at yard, man. Nothing, nothing, nothing is funny. If they call it for my grandson, he's not here. <laughs> Dylan White, the one, the only, the legend. Mister, no, it is not him, it is his grandmother. You don't deal with me, young man. <laughs> Dylan, what you got over with? This is no, this ain't Dylan. This is, yes, sir. How you doing, brother? Oh, uh, bro, you live already? La- what do you mean? We go, this is the real thing. Oh, man. <laughs> what are you talking about, man? Come on, come on, Mr. Body Snatcher. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing What's right now? What, 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 what are you doing at this precise moment? I got a bag of nuts in my hand. I get a nut in my hand. Anyway, Dylan, moving forward, you know this show is 100% positivity. We are only here to discuss the positive things you have done for yourself, for your family, for your community. And that's what I mean. Can we discuss your your hairline or positive? (laughs) 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 Bruv, what? I told you. Me and you is going to swing. Me and you is going to swing. Well, bruv, what kind of food was you cooking in that thing? That MasterChef business? In MasterChef? MasterChef. No, no, no. no, no, One second. Let me tell you this now. Round of applause for Dylan on MasterChef. He done us proud. Bro, 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 bro. He done us proud, bro. You know what I mean? He went on the show. Yes. You know Dylan can't cook for toffee. <laughs> and he went in there and he was cooking up some concoctions, brother. Okay. He was making bro, concoctions I, I can, like I, it was I, Halloween. I, 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 I can cook. I just don't. I just don't. Listen, you do when you cook for yourself. Yes. And you're in training camp. You ain't got time to be there cutting fish. <laughs> in squares, in squares, uh, and feet. No, you, you just remember when you're training five, six hours a day. Yes, you just trying to eat something quick. The quicker it does, the quicker you can eat. The more time you have to rest. So yes. it's the difference between you know, a competition. I had months with, so you know, I mean, I, I, every day I was there, just practicing, I was, I was cooking, I was, I was just focusing on the competition. But when yes. I'm at, cooking to, for it to look good. I'm just cooking for it to fill up my belly. Yes. <laughs> All right, listen, let's move on to boxing because I want to talk about the first question before I even go into fights and everything. What was your motivation in becoming a boxer? Because you're inspiring a lot of young, you know, we're, we're from the same ends. And, um, you my know, mo- my it, motivation just for my mum not to experience another one of my sons dying, dying on the streets, man. You know, yes, yes. <laughs> Everything I did, all my own father was, everything I did, all I was worried about was my mum, you know what I mean? I ne- you know what I mean? I, I never wanted to mm. class my mother any more necessary stress and pain. Yes, yes. You know, and she, my mum's the motivation for everything in life, man. Boxing, being alive, waking up and doing, you know, grafting, doing all this stress and trials of life, you know what I mean? My mum, my mum, my mum, my mum's the motivation for everything I did, man. Love that. Hold on. Just for that again. One hundred percent. The mother is the motivation, of and uh, and it's so funny because we just had Andy Cole on the line, and he said the same thing. He said, you know, his his mother, his parents come from Jamaica, they had it hard, and uh, he wanted to he just wanted to give them everything. So, you know, beautiful. When my mom explained certain things to me that she she been through and things she done. Mm. Not to live, just to feed her children. Yes. Made me cry. And I was a youth, I didn't make me cry as a youth, but it also inspired me to make sure that she never has to suffer again, you know what I mean? And, and that's, that's what motivates me, you know what I mean? I'm not Lies in the cup! <laughs> you hear that? 100%. Wait, so what? I, this is what I just give you. Lies in the cup! <laughs> again, guys, listen, this is serious. No, 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 you know what um, I'm... You know, I just, I just, you know, I mean, I just wanted her to be proud and just to, you know, not to suffer and because a lot of people, you know, listen, now my mom, my mom got, is it first generation Jamaican or second generation? I don't, I don't know which generation it is that, that yes. came here. Yes. And that's the work, you know I mean? That's the work. My mom was working three jobs as a kid growing up. She was cooking at the school. She mm-hmm. was cleaning and she was, she was a nurse at the same time. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I just wanted her to, well, that's, that's, that's... I just wanted to do something that could make her life a bit easier and make her stress less. You know what I mean? I could, I could just go to my mom and say, what bills are you going to pay this month? And my mom would go, oh, um, I'm going to pay this, I'm going to pay that. I said, okay, don't worry. Here's the money. Pay that. And here's some money. Go buy yourself 
some shoes or a dress or whatever you want. Love that. Love yeah, that. Yeah, man. Beautiful, man. All right. So moving forward into your professional career, I know, you know, in your, your 19th fight, you've now picked up the British title. You beat Ian Lewison. What was that feeling like? You know, are you from the roads, South London, Brixton? He's from Jamaica. No, yeah, but <laughs> <He's> from Jamaica. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but listen, Wait, to win um, a London, did you get your passport? <laughs> no, listen, <laughs> listen. That's what I'm trying to say. That's what I'm saying. Dylan. You can't even be serious. Where's Spencer's here? And what I'm trying to say is that no, no, you know, no, holding no, the British no, title. No, hold on, holding the British title is a prestigious, it's incredible belt for some I mean when did you start boxing what year did you actually take up the sport of boxing I took up boxing late I can't remember I took up boxing late you guys probably know better than me Two, um, 2009 I took up boxing is when he came yeah I took up boxing to late I took up club. boxing late 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 but for me winning the British title was an amazing thing because my first attempt at the British title was lost yes. I lost you know what I mean and, and I was in a first class place at the time I was thinking you know what oh man you know, because at that time I thought invincible, I thought I was a champion for the life, and then I lost. Mm. And then I was in a So, ah, uh, man, you know. And then after a winning British start for me, that was a significant moment in my career because I was like, okay, I can do it. I can go 12 rounds. Yes. Or 10 rounds, whatever long it was. I'm thinking to myself, all right, you know, I'm ready now. Now I'm going to go after other belts and start picking other belts up. Excellent. So, so you know, at that point, you know, you're now the British champion, you know, and, you know, money starts to come your way. So what is... No, I, I, I thought I was going to get money. I thought I was going to get... I, I thought, I thought, tell it, I, tell I it, it tell, the, them, tell, them, tell them, tell them, tell them, Dylan, because I, I think... I thought I was going to get the money, but it wasn't like that, bro. I've, I've had a hard, difficult career and... Yes, and you I think people that, need to, a lot of hard you know, I, I, and one of the reasons why, you know, I want, you know, I, I'm glad you touched on that because I think there's a perception with people on the outside. They see, you know, British champions and they think they're multi-millionaires. You know, there, a lot of people are still unaware well, that. So, so, listen, put this in, me and Anthony just are the richest British title fight in history. So, wow. we did all right. We did all right and I did all right. That's the yeah. um, it's the first British heavyweight title fight on paper. On pay per view. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is that December 15th? Yeah, so we had the right? initial turn. <laughs> I forget around the place. I, 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 I made the pay per view as well because it was a normal fight night at first. Yes. But obviously, they couldn't ever see. You the know what I mean? I was doing certain things and being strategic about the fight. Yes. It ended up becoming a bigger fight than what it should have been. You know what I mean? And then after it ended up being a massive fight and we both. Got paid very well, and he both done good for our career. It made him went on to. I think he fought for the world title with a fight after. The next he? fight, he fought Charles Martin. Is that but, correct? Yeah, next fight. Yeah, but but one, and, uh, sorry, sorry Martin, Dylan. Sorry. Yeah, when you when you boxed him in that fight, right? <clears throat> and you were training with Jonathan Banks. There's no disrespect to Jonathan Banks. I like the guy. He's a very he's a very cool guy, right? But to me. To, to see the transition of what you've done since then and how you've start, you've applied yourself, you've learned the craft, could you, you kind you, of admit you that you wasn't what? a professional, you weren't training like a professional them days you know compared what? to how you're training now? You know what? You, you know what's funny? Boxing is a game where the, the circle keeps turning because the same thing that Joshua is doing now, and I think he's going to be detrimental to his fight coming up, but the same thing I did. I tried to switch to a new trainer mm. and he was teaching me something and he was taking me away from my son and took to the new style. I never had enough time to learn it. Okay. And because of that style, I ended up picking up injuries. So I was forced into learning it. And in the fight, I got, I got caught between two styles. My normal style of being a brawler, a China box. Yes. And I got caught in the middle ground. And then I was getting caught and I wasn't doing what I should have been doing. So, so, so are you saying that the change with Jonathan Banks came... Um, just before the AJ fight? Yeah, am I right in saying that? Yeah, yeah, yeah you know what? Remember, he's working with Chris Oko. Okay, okay. Then Chris Oko did a car crash, in it? Or someone, the car licked him in it. He got run over. We're laughing for him. Hey, Spencer, 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 Spenc
Spencer ran him over because Spencer wanted Chris's money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they owe me money for the Lindays, but we're not going to talk yeah, about it. No, no, you did it. No, Spencer was like, yeah, let's just train you, man. Chris can't train you. Spencer ran over Chris. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, so basically what you were saying is that you was caught in a transition between the two trainers. You know, one was teaching yeah, you. No, you just caught between the two styles because yes. what you going to remember is, yeah, yes, then sorry to talk about this. It takes about five, six, Right. At least, always truly, at least for you to truly adapt yes. and grow. I remember, listen, I was a tough man growing up, and most of my early fights, I was just tough. I just beat man up and and just bulldoze guys. So yes. I was dancing was trying to make me into a boxer. It would be, what he should have done is in eyesight, he should made me a boxer fight. Mm. He should have made me a boxer fight instead of instead of just. A pure, to make me a pure boxer. A yeah. pure boxer. And I move like sort of like what Klitschko was. Yes. You know, what's the fight? I feel like the time and the, like the fight at the back foot, yes. cruising around and trying to box, and then I was getting tagged with punches. Yes. I shouldn't have been getting tagged with. But it's an experience, you live and you learn. What you should have done is made me keep my old style and add a few few more shrinks to the mm-hmm. ball. That's all yes. I needed for that. Yes, yes. I never yes. need I never had enough time to to, to, to adjust. To, to um, adjust, yeah, to a totally new yeah. training regime. I, you know, I never had enough time to adjust and obviously at the time I'm not making a excuse, but at the time he was training me, Vladimir, Cecilia. Vladimir was gonna fight Tyson Fury, Cecilia was gonna defend her undisputed title mm. and I was gonna fight this. You can't have three big fighters in the same camp so I wasn't being paid enough attention and other things and stuff, but yes. you know, me being a young tough man, you know, obviously headstrong, I was just trying to, you know, what I mean, I was just trying to do my thing. I didn't believe no one could beat me. I believe I was invincible and I was training wrong, and I had I picked up all sorts of injuries and stuff. But and you, you fought injured I, I, in the Joshua fight as well. I remember that. Yeah, yeah I fought injured. I fought injured. The week, if you look at the press conference, the week of the fight, he asked me, "Oh, how do you show this? You show the right? You need a good doctor." Let me know. I'll, I'll, I'll get, I'll get one for you. I got one to recommend for you because everyone knows injured because I could get that. Co- I could get two cortisone injections yes. the week of the fight, and when you get them, you're gonna notify the board. And yes. someone, somehow, someone must have told him that I had an injury or whatever, and he knew about it mm. anyway. But it doesn't matter. Listen. Okay. To the fight but how did you feel in the second round? In the second round, when you when you hurt him, what went through your mind when you hurt Andy Joshua at that time? You hit him with that left. In the second count. round, what? Honestly, what went through my mind was, oh my God, my shoulder is gone. Wow. Okay. That's but at the very same time, yes. at the same time I had him, and I was thinking to myself, you know what? All these fights I watched the great champion, Danny Williams, fighting in one hand. And, yes, yes. And my man fight the injury and Josh Foreman and others. And I think to myself, well, I'm going to join those elite guys. Yeah, I just go myself, for it. Yeah. I'm going to join those guys by knocking him out with one hand <laughs> and... and and um, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna prove to myself and people that I am not a normal average human being today, you know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But it didn't work out. And this and this journey continues. So moving forward, you know, since that fight, you know, it's been an amazing journey. You know, Lewis and British title, Chisora, <laughs> Robert Helenus, Lucas Brown, Joseph Parker. A Chisora rematch and then a Oscar, Oscar Rivas. Your career has really gone from strength to strength. And I mean, what do you put that down to, Dave? What do you put that down to, Dave? You know what? That, 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 that's down to me, you know what I mean? Because that's yes. down to me and my team. Those fights got offered to me. Yes. I could have turned them down and, and fight some other guy and still make money and, and still climb the ranks and still touch my record and stuff. But I said to myself, you know what? I, I've had a long time in boxing. Yes. And this is what I look at these guys. If I can beat someone who's been boxing 20, 25 years, mm. at 200 amateur fights, I, I'm just feeling the experience. That's all I'm doing. I'm just feeling the experience. I'm feeling all, I'm feeling all that, that amateur fight. I'm feeling all, all that Olympic, Olympic, um, Olympic, um, yes. you know. Yeah, I'm just feeling the experience. That's what I look at. I think myself, if I can beat... So what we forget is Lane has been ranked in the top 10 when I fought him for about eight years running. He was in the top 10 Ring Magazine. What's that? What's Ring that? Magazine. Is that top. Yeah, sorry, I just referred to me. Hold on. Okay. Sorry. 
or do yeah, you, remember you, you pass your driving what? test yet, do <laughs> You pass the driving test? <laughs> no, man. Remember, 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 I'm still driving with your license that you lend me, sir. Yeah, oh, yeah. Don't, well, stop talking like the business, dude, man. I sold him. Because yeah. <laughs> you know them Nigerians. <laughs> I know, yeah, yeah. And there was my driving instructor. <laughs> anyway, go ahead. But on. yeah, yeah. I, I don't well, I, I even forget what I was saying now. Um. <laughs> we were talking about... Um, <laughs> no, so, what was I talking about? The, the Hellenius fight, the where Hellenius was ranked at the yes. time. Yeah, what we forget is Hellenius, he, he was a highly ranked fight. Remember, when I, when I start boxing, these guys were already top amateurs, top yes. professionals. Yes, yes, yes. They, they were already established. There was this, even even remember Spence. Remember the first time I scored Derek Lewis, was British champion. Remember when I came up and scored him. Spencer Reigns the first sparring for me and Derek Lewis. Spencer will tell you. Yes. I was I never I was had no fight. No, I was just was, was I at that one? No, you was at the no, you was at the when um, Derek sparred with what's the Gonzalez, the, the, the Gomez, yeah, the, the Cuban, Cuban brother. Yeah. Oh yeah, I never I missed yeah. the um, um, Dylan one. That's what I was telling you about Dylan. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember. Karate I remember. Leon's but cousin. you know what, but Dylan, you don't. I don't. You must remember. You came to Peacock Gym with Leroy. And you sparred Wadi. I, I, I sparred Wadi and Ricky Nolan. Yes, remember I remember. That? Yes, I remember. I, I, yeah. In the back room. In the back room. In the back room. Yeah. I remember. Man, I, remember. Thing, I remember. I remember. I remember. Man, I'm telling you. And I told you offline, off the show. eleven years ago. Yeah? I told you that I'm so proud of you, and nobody can ever make me think negatively about you. No, no, I know how hard you listen, worked. Man. I know where you come listen, from. I, I've, I've achieved a lot. There's still a lot more to achieve and still a lot more to come exactly. in this game. You know, um, you know, listen, I look at this, honestly, I honestly I thought I'd have been dead. I've been in prison doing some long stretch. Yes. Some long stretch right about now, you know? Yes, yes. And I, again... Well, but, you know, um, sorry, go on. No, I'm just saying, where we come from, you know, I, I, I mean, I... I'm, I, I, for years, I'm tired of my making excuses about where we come from, where we come from. Because the fact of the matter is this. Everybody's in the, an individual. You choose to go down a certain path. 100%. No, you know what? No, 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 no. I, I, I slightly disagree with that. Okay. You know well, why? That's I what explain. So you don't choose. I'll explain. You, you, don't choose. Explain. You, know you, know, you know what I explain? To, to, I'll explain. Yes. Some people haven't got no choice, bro. You've always got a choice, Dylan. Some people have got no other way. Some people have got no education. Some people, it's like their own fight. It's their upbringing. Some people ain't got their fathers around, their mothers around. Yes. Some people have got no heroes, no yes. one to look up to. Yes, yes. Well, if your mum's a junkie, your dad, if your mum's a junkie, your dad's a junkie, string out and drugs, you not benefit their whole life. There's only a small percentage of, of that kind of people yes. who really make it because people don't care about those people. Yes, absolutely. You say to your son, no, you say to your son, no, no, move from him, don't play with him. He's, no, 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 come, 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 come. Yes. And this is the reason why I always give my time to people and I always try to help people. It doesn't matter what they look like, what colour they are, what yes. race they are, or rich they are. No, I just try and help people because, yes. you know, you know, um, I've been on, I've been on every side of, of of this of this life, man. Good, bad, up and down. Yes. You know what I mean? Right. I, so I, let I've me, been let me, cut, side, let, me so. cut, let me cut you there a second. It's so <laughs> genuine. No, I'm gonna tell you why. Let me yeah, tell you yeah, why. Go, go, I go. posted on Instagram. This is <laughs> this is what I don't know. Three years ago, I posted on Instagram. But I just you know what I sent at these posts, and it was a generic post. I said like people. People just don't care. They love you for one minute and they and then they, they yeah, switch your legs. And listen, then Dylan phoned me up and said, "Bro, are you all right? Do you need any money?" Did it? it was a generic. It was yes, just a, yes. And that's the type of guy. I'm just being but real. Play, that's listen, the type of guy that Dylan White is. Dylan, I hear what you say, and you should know better than most people that I can relate to everything what you're saying. The point what I'm saying is that look, the reason why I say you have a choice is there's no doubt that environment shapes you. That's a given. That's actually scientific. But the point is, is that we have to be what we want to see. 100%. Dylan White is an example. Listen, listen let me finish, please, Dylan. I, I, I agree with you. No, listen, I agree with you. I know, I know that. I know you like to get points across. I know you like to be strong. 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 I know you like to enforce your point. But what I'm saying is some people have no choice, bro. No, there's some I'm people. Show you. There's some people around the world that ain't got but no. You're talking decision. about. There's people that want to change, but <laughs> yes. they can't change, bro, exactly. because there's no help for them. So that's no why. Help. So that's why they've got a Dylan White to look on. So the point is, is that we have to stop looking on the outside and be what we want to see. If you keep on looking on the outside, nothing will change. You had to look within, and you came from the same environment as we all have. 
I had to look within. Spencer had to look within. Bro, so why don't we focus? Bro, I, I come from slightly, I come from slightly different yeah, environment than you, but I get what you're saying. <laughs> you come from the bush. <laughs> no, 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 listen. Yeah, but, listen. But we, we, listen, we get listen, it. Listen, the, the fact is, listen, that, there is we, no... We, we, we have come from to yes. where... Uh, Listen, man. It's a, it's and a, I'm saving that stuff from my book when my book come out one day. You know? No, no, no. Just, you are an inspiration to us. 100%. You understand what I'm saying? And my thing is this. We know what happens when we keep on focusing on what we don't have. The key, and I'm going to say this again, the key is to focus on what we do have. We hmm. do yeah, have a special you know, you know, you know, We you know, do you know, have you know, a you know, you know, the only thing you have control over is your emotional response and your decision making. That's it, man. Right. You know, and your decision making is your choice. Oh, that is your choice. That's your choice. This is what, yeah. this is what I'm saying. And your so destiny is not by chance, it's by choice. <laughs> this is what we're you saying. You chose to be where you're at. You chose. So you, you have chose. a choice. <laughs> you have a choice. Sometimes I get upset um, with things that's going on and yes. things in my life. I'm thinking I should have been real champion. I should have been this. I should have that. Yes. I should have fought for this. I should have done that. Then. I, I'm on YouTube watching something and then a little documentary just come up. You know, sometimes the computer recommends stuff. Yes. And then you see stuff where this kid's really struggling stuff and you're like, of wow. course. Uh, makes you're, you're, you're like, wow, I'm, and I'm there complaining about exactly. this. Exactly. Uh, this is the point. So, you know. Remember, if, in, in, Jamaica, in Jamaica, I didn't have a fridge, bro. Yeah. yeah. I didn't have a fridge I mean, I mean, Yeah, the icebox in it. Your story is. Not even icebox, bro. I couldn't afford that. I remember when I come to. I remember when, when I come to England and then my mum was like, oh, go take something in the fridge. I was, I was sort of like, my father was a king. I was like, right, I could just go to the fridge. <laughs> I could just go to the fridge and get a drink. And like, just, just, you, you know what I mean? Well, yeah, but it just goes to show what all life is, bro. Exactly. And Dylan, to be honest with you, you are a hero to me. You are the things. Oh, thanks, bro. Thank you, Dylan, man. Trust listen. me, because let me tell you something. I have trained my mind only to think and focus on the positive. Now I know that's difficult mm. for a lot of people. Whoa! Of you, you bloody need to. You, you bloody need to. Cause you see some strong stuff in the bus in the road. You get a lot of sick to, so, Listen, listen no, no. you know, I, 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 I miss lanes in the camp stuff. You need to train your mind. Listen, listen. I got nothing. Wait, 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 wait. Lines in the camp. Lines in the camp. Lies in the cup. Yeah, man. <laughs> you see it. Come on. Now, yeah, well, you, you, you are a great man. Sunday, go yeah. empty your tank, all right? Just relax. Go empty your tank. <laughs> listen, let me tell you something. No, 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 no. Yeah. I'm joking. No, listen, listen, listen. No, no, you're only serious. I'm just going to touch it. I'm just going to... No, I'm just going to touch on that because I know a lot of people give you a stick about the fight no, or whatever. No, but, but you have this one I'm trying to say. Look, stop it. Let me just stop you something. No, 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 no. no, 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 no I'm going to touch on it because... I'm going to touch on it because... I'm going to touch on it because... I'm going to touch on it you took Anthony from from just a nobody, believed in his ability, yes. trained him your way, done your thing. Yes. People say, oh, you never thought this, you should have done this, you should have done that. You took him to Ross and he changed his life. Yes. Simple you know? as that. I, yeah, I, and he put, he pushed couple up to the wire. And you know what I mean? Listen, he had one loss. He's young enough. He'll come back and he'll be better. Yes. You know, he, he done a great job. And, you, and the main thing is, many people come to you and say, oh, no, change this, change that. You, done it, you and him done it your way. You done what you wanted to do. You done your thing. So, Massive respect for that, man. You know, um, obviously. Uh, absolutely. But to, to, you know, to, to, obviously, I, I was disappointed because I wanted to win because obviously my boy were, and I thought you could have win. Obviously, <laughs> you know what I mean? But it's yes. ex- listen, inexperience is something you can't buy. I remember exactly. when I fought Joshua, yeah? yes. when I fought Joshua, walking out in the old thing for 25,000 people for the first... Remember, I was fighting in, in front of some dead crowds, 5,000 people, 2,000 people, <laughs> 1,500 people. Yes. It is a whole different... when. You walk on, there's just hundreds of, uh, there's millions of people watching around the world, yes. people booing you and stuff. Mate, it, it, listen, it, that drained me even before I got in the ring. <laughs> well, a lot of people don't, this is what I'm trying to say, a lot of people don't understand about this and about the energy factor. And you know, when you talk about people that give me a lot of stick, listen, they ain't been where I've been. They ain't been where Anthony's been. They haven't dedicated their self to the sport and the craft for over 20 years. So when people see me for the first time and then they want to criticize, God bless them. <laughs> I hope they do well. Because, because, because not, I'm fo- all, I'm look focusing look it. It, all I'm focusing on is the positive. Listen, I, I, I'm, I'm going to teach you something. I know you used to be the one that teach people things and say things and whatever. No, no, no. I'm going to teach you something. Yes. No, no, I, no, no, no. I'm just saying, you're older than me. You've been through a lot of things or whatever. You've I've been, been through, through things as well. But I'm going to teach you something. 
People only criticize yes. when you're successful. Yes, people exactly. are only jealous of you when you're successful. People, people only criticize when you're doing something good. Yes. Have you ever, have you ever seen a champion criticize him? Yes. I said, oh, exactly. yeah, that champ smells. I wish I wish I had the clothes he had on. <laughs> no, yes. when you see someone who's successful, that's yes. when you say, "Raw, no, no, that man's a show off. Yes. No, that man is this because yes. he's doing well, bro. Yes, yes. Right. So you're, you're doing it, something but, well. I, but I don't even think it's at a successful yeah. level. Now, I, listen, even on a lower level. This is what I say. It's better. To create something that others criticize than to create nothing and <laughs> criticize others. Come on. As simple as that. Come on, really. As simple as that. Right? That's what I'm saying. No, no. So, so <laughs> on, right no. now, Come energy on. goes where it flows. Where it and flows. we're speaking to winners. <laughs> There's winners in the room. <laughs> Our producer Gary's a winner. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jai is a winner. <laughs> Dylan White is definitely a winner. <laughs> Keep on. on doing what you're doing. Keep doing what you're doing. Even Spencer. You see Spencer? Yes. I rate Spencer because. When, 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 you know, when Spencer's called me up at random time and said, listen, I don't care what no one said. Mm. Spencer said something to me, he said, listen to me. When I, you have a family member, whatever he does, you will remain loyal to him because the family member, he says, it's the same with you, bro. Whatever is happening, I'm there for you. There you go. And listen, I remember, me, me and Spencer, we have, we've had our ups and downs over the years, but yes. now we understand each other, we understand the journey that each other has been on. Listen, Spencer's done well. Yes. Spencer's yes. done well. From well, if you know Spencer's past and what he's been through and where he's come from, <laughs> Spencer's done well, and he's still young enough to still yes. do more and do better, and he will do. Believe me, Dill, I know Spencer way before I come into boxing, and me and Spencer used to run up and down <laughs> <laughs> and do things. A lot of people, it's just what I'm trying to say. They They're know. seeing us now. They don't know how long me and Spencer have been. Remember, before all of this. I was in the corner for Spencer Fearon's last ever professional fight. I trained him for the fight of the year when I, I didn't think, even I have think, my license. I think Spencer retired too young, though. No, I think no, for no, the no, no. Because, correct, because, correction to his training, he could have been more than one. <laughs> yeah, joking. No, I told <laughs> Spencer. No, but I told Spencer. I told Spencer his talent was not that. Am I lying, Spencer? 100%. Spence believes him and Spence never wants to train hard. He say, yo, we, 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 we can't make money to other things, man. We can't make that boxing. You know what? You know, it, it's, even that, it's just the, polit it, it's the politics of boxing. You have one or two losses and people start, you know, I, listen, it's hard, it's hard, it's hard, man. You have one or two losses in the game and people start writing you off, start saying this and saying that. You know, it's hard, man. It's hard well, here to, on the fight that, is that, right. That's like, that's Wait. Like, go on, go on, carry on. Sorry, sorry, Dylan. Sorry, I did cut you mid sentence there. You said it's hard and people write you off. Carry on. Yeah, you have a couple of losses and people just start writing you off. Look at even AJ. Yes. Everyone is saying that he's the greatest thing since life spread, and yet one loss, people is criticizing him. You know, people, you know, and I say to people, listen, it's boxing, man. This thing's happen. Mm. You know, this thing's happen. You know, like, enjoy the people, be grateful to the people, show respect to the people. Everyone loses. Yes. Everyone will lose at some point. In some form, yes. Wilder's going to lose. I guarantee you, if he doesn't retire in the next couple of years, he's going to lose. Yes. But they've been careful with him, matching him properly. He's going to lose. He will lose. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. You know, all of these guys might have one or two losses in their record before they retire. It's just, it's a normal process, man. It's a normal process. You win, you lose, you get better. That's just what it is. But you have to be honest with yourself to make the changes and the decision to improve. I'm very proud of, of, of your learning of the game. I like that. When are you back, bro? Um, I should be back this I should be back in December. I've been so I'm trying to finalize finalize a date now. You know, sometimes right. um, the boxing thing, trying to get the right fight, trying to get the right show, this and the other. So I should be back I should be back um in December, you know what I mean? I should be back so in December. Training's going well, you you you, you know, you you're back training, full training? Yeah, man, all the time. I yeah, no, no, no. Tra yeah. Training's yeah. getting good, man. Good. You're looking good. slim as well. Training's getting good. I, I, I'm sparring, I'm training. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm training, I, I'm trimming down and stuff. Excellent. So, yeah, training's getting good, man. Excellent. You know, one of the biggest changes I make to my life after the Joshua fight was I used to go to camp for 10, 12 weeks and try and get ready for fights. I just, I just try and stay ready all the time. I just try and stay in shape the best I can and as much as I can, man, instead of... If they're going to camp to get ready, you know what I mean? I just go to camp to get sharp now. That's the key because you can always learn. The biggest room... Is the room for improvement. And if we're training every yeah, day, you know we're working. I so, met Emmanuel Stewart once. I met Emmanuel Stewart once before he died. Mm -hmm. And there's one thing I can remember what he said to me. I met him once when he was... 
just before he got ill, I met him once and he said to me, listen, he said, you can't train no 14, 15 weeks to beat no Vladimir Klitschko. He goes, no way, you need to be training 10, 14 years to beat Klitschko. Hmm. Mm. And then I, did, I, didn't, I didn't understand what he meant. I said, what do you mean, what, a 14 year training camp? <laughs> and he goes, he, just, he, he, he broke he, it down. He, he laughed. He laughed, he laughed and he said, man, you're, you're a crazy ass British guy, man, whatever, man. And he just walked off. Yes. And, and then, and it bugged me for years. I kept on thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it. I said to myself, what does he mean? Mm. And then he hit home to me about three years later, after he passed or whatever it was. And I thought to myself, no one understands what he means. Yes. And then I remember that I concentrated with the kitchen. I said, how often do you train? He says, I train at least three times a week. Whether I have a fight or not, I just do something. He says, I do something. I, 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 I punch, you know what I mean? And I used to fight and take two months off, go and eat, get fat, do this, do that, relax. And think, okay, I got 40 weeks. That's enough time to get in shape. Yes. That just kills your body and wear your body out. Yes. That is good, good advice for all you young professionals coming up there. From the big man himself, the body smasher. Smasher. I call him Smasher. <laughs> <laughs> the body snatcher, the one, the I'm gonna, only. I'm gonna snatch your wallet when I see him next Sunday. Hey, Tunde's got pure money now. He's you a big boy in the game, man. Right, you, know, you know what? Tunde bought me a new car. You know, I'm gonna tell you, man. He bought me a Maserati huh? Jeep. <laughs> no I, have you seen the? Ch- let me see the train he's wearing. If if the man don't see you, I don't want to see you in Brixton. I escape. You're bro. mad. I run Brixton. <laughs> <laughs> I run Brixton. Uh, Tunde, you run from Brixton. Now. I tell you that now for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I must, I, must be able to, I must be able to get five bars for that on the black market. <laughs> Dylan, it has been an absolute honour, pleasure. You are inspiration to many of us. Listen, Keep doing what you're I'm doing. I'm a friend to the show, mate. And it's, yeah. Anytime you, you, yeah, you just follow me, anything, man. Spencer, uh, Spencer wants to say <laughs> one, one word. All, all i got to say is, like I said, I always support you. Keep on doing what you're doing. And I'm looking forward to when you become world champion because I really do believe. And I, I've said that. Five years ago, remember, and I still believe it. Keep on. No, no, since has been a supporter of mine, man. That's why. I always get my ringside. Always gets my ringside ticket. Anytime I'm fighting, since 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 all right, Dylan. Thank big you, up yourself too. Big up yourself. Big up yourself, Dylan. Cindy is not even African, bro. Cindy is just... Cindy is African. All right, very sick. I'm going to go to sparring now, man. Become it. All right, yes, do your sir. thing, champ. Do your thing. Do your thing, Dylan. Dylan White on the show. Round of applause for Dylan White. Round of applause. Round of applause for Dylan. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe to the Stamina for Soul YouTube channel.